us all being low round draft choices or free agents it was a real galvanizing force we all rallied around that kind of call that hey we aren't supposed to be here so let's shock them while we're here Perhaps no Bronco traveled a longer road to the NFL than Mark Schlereth. A native of Alaska, Schlereth was a 10th round draft choice of the Redskins in 1989. As part of the Hogs' offensive line, Schlereth helped Washington to a world championship in 1991. Great blocking by the Hogs. He saw a hole you could drive a truck through. But after six seasons, he was discarded by the Redskins and given new life in Denver in 1995. Schlereth became a Pro Bowl starter on one of football's best offensive lines. And though 1998 marked his 10th season in the league, Schlereth still approached every game with the same anxiety he had as a rookie. I was motivated through fear and paranoia. That's how I survived in the league. And, uh... There wasn't a game that I walked into that I wasn't scared to death. Let's go, Mark. You a little, a little scared? Yeah, you look a little scared. Scared to death of not producing, scared to death of letting my teammates down, being made a fool of on national television. All those things were motivating factors for me. I was scared. I was scared to the core. Schlereth literally worried himself sick before nearly every game. I am a puker. Yeah. If I didn't actually produce vomit, I would at least have an overactive gag reflex. And uh, most of the time would be able to produce some vomit before every game. On a little corner of the locker room where we dressed before games, there was always a trash can near proximity. So you didn't have to you know, hurl one across the locker room where you could walk up to the trash can and, and get her in there. And then, you know, that's a chain reaction thing. You know how they say sneezing is contagious? So is vomiting in a locker room. One guy vomits, then you see the next guy starting to dry heave a little bit, you know. And... While he couldn't control his upset stomach before games, Schlereth would purposely let loose with another bodily function on the field. I always looked at it like, I'm miserable anyhow. My knees hurt, my elbows hurt, my back aches, my neck hurts. I'm not gonna sit here and hold this too and be be miserable, you know? So uh, if I had to go, I'd just go. I'd just pee my pants and I had no qualms about it. I'd be standing in the huddle peeing during a TV timeout break. Uh, it just didn't bother me. I was like, whatever. I'm looking up in the stands. And I'm going, these people are cheering. They have no idea I'm peeing my pants right now. <laughs> 